Hello everybody, my name is Kick the PJ and I just completed my first ever 3D animated short film, The Lost Boy. And who oh boy, was that an adventure. This is going to be a decompression video. PJ, what is a decompression video? Well, I feel like my head is full of hot air right now and I need to twist the valve and spew some of that hot air out and decompress. I feel after you've done a gargantuan mammoth project, it's important to decompress and look back and reflect. And I don't think I often do that enough. And truthfully, do you? Do everyone in the comments, yes, yes, of course I do. Of course I do, PJ, who doesn't? All right, well, I was trying to be cute and it didn't work, okay? <laughs> so I just finished my short film and holy moly, what a beast, what a beast. If you have not yet seen it, I would very strongly urge you to go watch it. I am super proud of what I have made. It is on my YouTube channel and I would love for you to go and check it out and let me know what you think. Where do we even begin? Let's wind the clocks back a little bit, shall we? I know we all wanna forget about 2020, but it's important that we take a little look back. I really struggled in 2020 and 2021, like a lot of people, I'm sure. I struggled to find the creativity or the motivation to make anything. And that's really rough when your whole life and career and hobbies and interests are making things. I even had fleeting thoughts of, will I ever make anything again? Maybe not, maybe I'm done. Maybe I'm done. Which is of course a foolish thing to think. I just needed some time and to find the right inspiration. Well, I'd been following Louis Zong for a while. You may know him. Absolutely terrific artist, musician, animator, just about everything under the sun that dude can do. And I was incredibly inspired by seeing the things that he was making in Blender. And I was looking at what Louis was putting out and I was like, I think I can maybe do that. And that is what gave me the nugget of inspiration to try making something. I downloaded Blender. I made some really, quite frankly, awful things. But then those awful things started to look like pretty okay things. And then those pretty okay things started to look like pretty good things. And to be honest with you, the past year, I have been so happy with all of the art I have been making. Usually I will notoriously make something and then immediately hate it. Imagine being born and your parent is immediately like, this is terrible and ugly. This is not at all what I envisioned. I'm awful at creating babies. I know it's a stressed analogy. I didn't plan anything for this video. Please understand. What I'm trying to say is the art that I've been creating over the past year, I don't hate. Hey, I would even go as far as to say, I kind of like it. And so I finally felt inspired to tell a story. I really wanted to make a new animated film. I'm familiar with animation. I've made animations in the past, but I've never done anything like that in 3D. So I knew it was gonna be a challenge and now that I've completed it, I can confirm it was a challenge. I must have worked on this film for hundreds of hours. And then when I wasn't working on it, my computer was rendering, spitting out frames. I would leave things rendering overnight and then I would go into my office the next morning and just be hit with a wave of heat. I actually do wanna give a real big shout out to my computer who through thick and thin didn't give up. It kept going and hey, guess what? That's gonna be a little theme that we're gonna be talking about today. So remember that, jot that down. The whole thing began with a rough storyboard and if you've seen my monster storyboard, then you know that this one is gonna be equally bad. It's pretty bad. But hey, as long as I understand it, that's all that matters. And this storyboard became my little Bible. What's this shot supposed to look like? What emotion is the boy supposed to be conveying? I don't know, consult the storyboard. So most of the final shots that made it into the film actually reflect the storyboard pretty faithfully. So that was such a huge help. On its surface, the lost boy may look like your typical kick the PJ nautical romp, but I did have something I wanted to try and convey. And that was the things I felt over the past couple of years, feeling lost and lonely at times and having to keep yourself afloat both mentally and physically, which I have represented both metaphorically and literally. He's a boy, he floats, that's what he does. He floats and he floats some more. And it floats a little bit more. And that is the other theme from the film, trying to draw from a bit more of a positive experience from the past couple of years. Perseverance, to keep going. There were even moments when making the film that is supposed to be about keeping on going that I thought, oh, I don't know if I can do this. I, I should just scrap the whole thing. And so I would just step away and say, Let's see how I feel about this in an hour, two hours, three hours, tomorrow. And a lot of the time it came down to me just needing 
a break. And so for anyone out there listening who needs to hear it right now, no matter how sticky a situation you may currently be finding yourself in, if you will take anything away from this film, I hope that it is to keep on going. I know it's tough and I know sometimes it feels like everything sucks, but remind yourself the thing that I reminded myself a lot over the past couple of years, and that is tomorrow is a new day. Just hit the reset button and try again. Because if you keep going, eventually, it will stop sucking. Be like the boy who even in the toughest of times kept on floating. <sighs> and that is me feeling pretty decompressed, I would say. I feel all that hot air just escaping through my ears and I feel like my head is about to collapse in on itself. In a good way, of course. Thank you for listening to me ramble about this. The film really does mean a lot to me for so many reasons that I've talked about. And I think one of the biggest reasons is that I just, I don't hate it. I've made something after a long time of not really making anything and I don't hate it. And hey, I think I even might like it, which is huge for me. Big even. If you have not yet seen the film, please, please do go watch it. I poured my heart and soul and life force into this film. And I think I've even come out the other end a better person, more modest, more humble, more handsome. How does he keep on doing it? I don't know. <laughs> Look, I know, but it's better to be your own cheerleader than to self-sabotage, okay? Let me have this, please. I'll absolutely do another 3D animation at some point in the future. But for now, I just want to hunker down and get back to making good old regular vids. Hopefully next week, I will have my Canada Adventures video for you to see what I got up to. I haven't even left yet. I leave tomorrow. At least tomorrow when I'm filming this. I'm actually leaving Canada. Canada tomorrow when you're watching this. Also, if you enjoyed the film and want to see more of them in the future, you can make that happen by purchasing this lovely pack of the Lost Boy art cards. Available now at kickthepj.com. Stay rad, stay safe, keep on floating, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Or should I say, good boy.